hello everyone then we have to check the pupillary light reflex for this we have to shine the torch light and from the peripheral visual field and we have to see the uh, pupillary constriction in response to the light in both the eyes so pupillary light reflex absent in less than 30 weeks of gestation age baby and completely developed in more than 35 weeks we consider the direct pupillary light reflex when pupil constrict in response to the light in same eye and uh, pupil constrict in the opposite eye is uh, labeled as an indirect pupillary light reflex. Here in this video you can see how to perform the pupillary light reflex and also check the response to the light. Baby is blinking in response to the light and also turning the head toward the diffuse light. And for the pupillary light reflex for the direct and indirect both we have to shine the torch light from the lateral position towards the pupil and we have to see the constriction of the pupil on the same side of eye mentioned as a direct pupillary light reflex and in the opposite eye indirect pupillary light reflex. So abnormal response to the pupillary light reflex can be seen whenever there is a lesion in either in the efferent or efferent pathway. So efferent of pupillary light reflex is second cranial now and efferent is third cranial now. So an unresponsive direct and indirect both pupillary light reflex from light sh shined in the eye on the side of second cranial now lesion. Example if the baby is having the left sided optic now lesion then when you will shine the light in the left eye there will be no pupillary constriction occur in both the eyes and when you will shine the light in unaffected eye example when the left optic nerve is damaged you are shining the light in the right eye then both the pupil will constrict both direct and indirect will be present when efferent pupillary defect is there when the lesion in the third cranial nerve then unresponsive ipsilateral pupillary constriction on the affected side when the light is shined in either eye. So if third left third is affected then uh, left sided third cranial nerve if damaged then in left eye there will be no direct no indirect pupillary response occur. So absent pupillary light reflex in on the affected side will be present in third cranial nerve. If pupil is dilated and fixed when you are shining the light that means baby is having either optic atrophy or retinal detachment. 